Hey everyone, Vro here with another 3D tutorial. This one is going to be on the Rolling Harrier. Definitely one of the more difficult maneuvers to master. Uh, first, I'm going to take off and show you guys exactly what the Rolling Harrier is supposed to look like. I'll show you both rolling to the right and rolling to the left. So there you go, there's rolling to the right, I come around back here and I'll start rolling to the left. See if I can make a turn here, come back around. So that's just a simple uh, demo on the rolling harrier. I'm obviously a lot better at rolling to the right than rolling to the left. But first we're going to talk about what direction you want to roll. Um, like I said, it's pretty much 50-50 between rolling to the right and rolling to the left. Um, I learned how to roll to the right first, so here's the stick movements. As you roll 90 degrees to the right, the very first 90 degree turn is going to be on your side and knife edge, and you're going to be holding left rudder. The next turn is going to be on your back of the plane and you're going to be pushing forward on the elevator. The third turn is going to be again knife edge but with the right wing in the air. And then finally the fourth turn is going to complete it and you're going to be back on your belly and you're going to be pulling up on the elevator. All three, all four of these movements are completed with the rolling harrier and just takes a lot of practice, a lot of training. The left roll is going to be pretty, it's, it's hard to explain. Uh, it's going to be kind of the opposite, but not. So we're going to hit left, and our first uh, adjustment is going to be in knife edge, but it's going to be right this time instead of left. The second one stays the same. It's going to be pushing forward on the elevator. Third is going to be left rudder. And then fourth is go again going to be the same, and it's going to be back up and right up, so you're going to be pulling back on the elevator. So the only two things that change are going to be the rudder movements. The elevator movements stay the same, the rudder movements are going to uh, change. So we're first going to work on uh, two maneuvers. First is going to be the four-point roll, and this is going to help you a lot with the orientation of it getting used to holding the left, holding up, holding right, and back to zero. Practice this with whatever direction you're more comfortable with because this is going to be the foundation of the rolling harrier. After you master the four point roll or at least get very proficient at it, you're going to want to get a hold of the uh, slow roll and it's just one smooth movement implementing all of the movements just like that you can go slower or faster on this uh, depending on where you want where your comfort level is slower is a little bit better because your hands are softer and they get more used to the movements after you get proficient at that we're going to want to start the actual rolling harrier so the first step is going to be putting the plane in a high alpha position. If you don't know what a high alpha position is, it's going to be basically a point in the nose up in the air, 30 to 45 degrees. Or even more sometimes. So you're going to want to do that first. We're going to come over here, go uh, right to left. and then we're going to start the rolling harrier motion. I would recommend doing three rolls and then pulling out even if you still have control do three level out breathe and then go at it again start with three get really good at those so one two three level out and go back so we're going to roll to the left this time and we're going to do again the three rolls. So we're going to come down, 
pitch the nose up. One, two, three. Like I said, my, my uh, left rolling harrier is a little shaky compared to my right. Um, so don't hate on me if I don't do it perfectly. So again, we're going to do uh, three, one, two, and three. Just practice those for a little bit. Uh, do not do them this low to the deck. I'm only demonstrating low just so you can see the plane. Tr practice them high. This is going to be the same thing as mastering flying for the very first time. Your orientation is going to change, and it's going to be very difficult. You're going to fall out, and if you fall out low to the ground, you're going to crash and crunch your plane. And I don't want that to happen. So practice it high. If you dump them, that's fine. It happens to everyone. Just zero the sticks, and then pull out. After you get proficient at three rolls, go to six, and then repeat the process. As soon as... Um, you get used to rolling uh, constantly with six, then we're going to want to never stop. We just want to come down and just keep rolling. What you're going to want to do next is just maintain the same altitude and straight line. As we said before, um, it's going to keep your rolling hairs looking very nice. In a second, we're going to stop it. Physically look at the control surfaces. Left one's up, down, right, and we're going to roll out. Level out, turn, and then come back the other way. I'm going to come back rolling to the left. Again, we're going to keep that nose up in that high alpha position as we roll through it making sure the roll is going to stay the same as the right, going to be nice and smooth as we pull through the roll and pull out of it. And that's it. Practice those, and then we'll talk about rolling circles and rolling turns in a different video. Till then, this is Voro signing off. Have fun flying, everyone.